Yeah, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Chad Lutena. I'm back again. How you guys been? You guys been good? Getting your paper, staying right? Working out? Perfecting your bodies? No? Alright. <laughs> Today I wanted to talk to the to my boys. All the men, all the boys out there. There's there's one thing that's that's usually understated a lot and that is rejection. You know? What, what, what rejection? I'm talking about when approaching when approaching ladies you know we never really talk about this and I, I don't think a lot of men actually talk about it but there's a fact that all of us know all guys go through and need to understand and what's that fact the fact is this until you get used to being rejected you will never be comfortable approaching ladies that's a fact of life for most guys like off the bat and we know that and and when i was young i was given the same talk by my older uncle yeah he was like uh ile kitu naweza kuambia tu chalo ni moja approach them approach them hata wale utaki approach them so approach them say hi nice to meet you you look great you look great approach them until you get used to being rejected you'll get used to it and then it will stop being such a big deal because when i was young it was a huge deal it hurt it hurt like a mother i remember i remember uh, it was primary school yeah when i was that was the first time i think that i got rejected and it it stung because i i was like what's wrong with me what 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 don't i have and then she told me she told me what was wrong with me. She was like, yeah, I don't like your skin tone. I don't like it. it. Makes you look like a girl. That's it. Plus, you wear old shoes. Yeah, she added that for clarification. Just in in, in case the skin thing didn't, <laughs> didn't permeate through. Yeah, she's like, yeah, plus you're poor. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that you chose to be poor man. <laughs> it's stung. <coughs> it's stung like a motherfucker. Yeah, I remember going home. No, do, you, do you know? Do you remember those? Those uh, nobody understands me. Stupid bullshit. Yeah, I think that was part of it. Yeah, I thought no one has ever been through what I was going through. It was the first time. <laughs> I used to. Think Oh, <coughs> it's funny. It's funny as shit. But remembering back then, it it wasn't funny at all. It was, it was pain, at its its worst. And I remember thinking to myself, why, why, yeah. It, why why is this happening to me <laughs> let's get serious for a minute um we never really talk about this uh, because it happens to men and we are supposed to shut the fuck up about things that happen to us it's it's a no brainer But imagine this, imagine this ladies, imagine that in order for you to get the love of your life, imagine if you had to go to different men and these men would actually be honest about how you look and about your insecurities and they would not hold back, imagine that. And you still had to keep going up to the more niggas who would keep pointing out more shit they don't like about imagine that imagine you walk up to one nigga like mm. those are the tits you have you ain't got no more tits 
Jesus Christ, why is your belly hanging out like that? What the fuck? Look at your titties. They look like dog titties. Imagine that. <laughs> Can you imagine it? No, you cannot. Because shit like that doesn't happen to you guys. It happens to us. And the weird thing is, when you get used to being told why you are not enough, that's when you learn how to talk to ladies. That is the truth. We had to cauterize our emotions, cauterize them, not feel. Number two, we had to come, we had to, 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 to come to terms with our limitations. Yeah, I'm short. I'm short. Yeah, I'm five foot three. What can I do about that? All right, I'll be smart. Those are niggas. Yeah. I'm tall, but I'm dumb as fuck. What will I be? I'll be handsome. Yeah, I'm ugly as a motherfucker. I know, I know I look like a, a, a fucking monkey that, that's dying of cancer. I know that, but what will I do? All right, I'll be rich. Those are niggas. And don't know, a lot of guys on Afghanistan at a certain age, nigga is okay with being ugly. He's like, yeah, I know I look like shit. I know, but I still have a pretty wife, though. Hmm? Yeah. Jujamali ali understand. As painful as it was, as painful as it was, kuambiwa, you are not what ladies are looking for. We get that. We are told that all the fucking time. Hell, I'm, I'm a walking cliche of that shit. All ladies want what? Tall, dark, and handsome. Tall, dark, and handsome. And I'm an African. Oh, you think at Naskanga, oh, so again, my damn one at Kawato, you are called bullshit. They don't. You only bullshit. They don't. I could not get to come at some, some, some conspiracy where light skinned niggas get all the pussy they want. Come on, why is the last man? No, it does not exist. If anything, everything that I do is tied to my skin tone. If I speak too loudly, ah, who light skin nigga up and na bonga up a ju at his. If I speak too low, sasa who light skin nigga kwani yamekuwa mwanamke. If I'm too aggressive, nigga unajaribu ku compensate for your your light skin yak. If I'm not aggressive enough, no na our light skin niggas, hmm, pussy ass niggas up to to softy. And I've, I've, I've had to come to terms with that. When it comes to men or my peers, I have to stand up for myself. I have to be confident or they will walk all over me. That is something I learned the hard way. Hmm? And those people who assume I'm a certain way because of my, my hair or my skin tone. I have really tough hair, like hard as fuck. And best believe, yeah, they let me know about that too. Niliambu, hey, me stuck him toto wako na yonyole yako mbae. Alafu sasa, we have a daughter, na nyole yako mbae. Then what? She sues us. Jua, ezi shika kamosa. It's a fact. It's something to think about. So I understood that. And what did I do? I look for soft head chicks. <laughs> no, that's a lie. Do what I did. Uh, just judge panga. Be smart. <laughs> Be smart and funny, nigga. Hey, my daughter, yo, 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 and I, I, as, as much as I hated it when I was young, so even when I was grown, and I, I, I kind of appreciate the fact that Niliambi was eh? And I didn't grow, I didn't grow up with that chip on my shoulder, eh? where at least I didn't talk anything about my appearance. I, I crumble down, I fall. But do you know something? Sisi tulikuwa, growing up, we were told where ufai kuambia a lady the truth about her age, don't even, don't even ask. 
Hata eh? kana kaje tell her she looks pretty. We were told that's what a gentleman does. And we we kind of understood. And I think that's that's a privilege ladies have. Eh? As much as a team nasema nga o sijui nini if men actually were honest with you guys like honest honest do you think you guys would take it do you i don't think so niggas niggas keep a lot of stuff to themselves about you guys you know why because we care <laughs> and because we know it doesn't we know how it feels it sucks when the first thing a person sees when they look at you is all your inadequacies it sucks but we understood we are men and it's a competitive world and since we used to believe that women were the prize we would put up with that you know you walk up to a chick and say she would look at you and be like where did you get the guts to approach me someone saying something like that now see they're not they're not on on a flying horse no normal human being like you they are not princesses no but they have your eh? privilege they have that privilege ya kusema since me nimekuwa nikiambiwa na watu na my exes wote they told me I'm, I'm an amazing woman maybe they lied to get some pussy guys do that a lot but ile 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 kitu sasa mimi yenye inanijamisha ni we are creating a world where you are actually forcing you are forcing men to see you the same way they see each other and i don't think you i don't think ladies will like it one bit you guys won't like it but that's where we are headed especially when it comes to dating when it comes to interacting with the opposite sex nimeanza kuona kumeanza kuona a bit of guys are like oh all right so we should treat you guys the same way we treat each other hmm? so we should nothing we should hold nothing back oh oh all right huh so being a gentleman is somehow bad and you think that those are weak niggas oh okay 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 so chivalry oh so chivalry takes away all the agency from ladies makes them damsels in distress you sure about that <laughs> you guys are setting yourselves up for a lot of a lot of pain you say now now that we are we are headed into a world where it's okay for guys to just enjoy their lives you know yeah enjoy my life up to my 40s go where on a go focus on their hobbies because what they ain't shit right because you don't need them in your lives right because a woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle that's where we are head and it's not just ladies who will lose men will lose too and know in the ways you think ladies if we stop caring about this world about continuing this world the way we have what happens we start regressing we start having uh, weird fights we start becoming uh, uh, weak emotionally weak creatures emotionally weak creatures huh? who, who can be killed by words huh? at words are violent i don't know you ladies know you guys don't want that you guys don't want equality like that best believe you don't but since you it seems like you do let's go there i'm i'm I'll re, i'm really curious i really want to see what 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 will come out the other side will we be will we be brought together or
in Chigodown. We'll see. I will be here to see you too. Twenty mile. But apart from that, ladies. Think about it. Think about it. All the queens, all the boss bitches. Think about it. Charlotte, Pisa. 